People have been asking us what exactly is short stroke. So today let's have a look at what short stroking is and maybe the advantages it provides. We'll also look at how to actually do it. So we need to understand what is short stroke. Stroke is the distance the slide travels here to here. And this is a stock settings in terms of the stroke. So the full range of the slide is from here to here. So how far is a full stroke? We can see from this reference point from here, the slide moves about here, and it stops. In other words, the slide travels around mm, about 50 millimeters. So for short stroking, the range is obviously less. How much less? Well, this is a short stroke high kappa, so we can see from this reference point to here, it's about 35 millimeters, which means a short stroke high kappa range is reduced about 15 millimeters. So why do we short stroke? There are advantages and disadvantages. Let's take a look at the stock setting. So the full slide range, okay, let's put a magazine in and try the advantages. The slide will lock when there's no ammo. So you will know when you are out of ammo. This is most people's preference and, and, and what they're used to. Whereas a short stroke high kappa the slide locking no longer exists and you will need to get used to counting your shots and expect when you're out of ammo. So what are the advantages of uh, short stroking. Let's, uh, well, yeah, let's see the difference first between the blowback and the distance traveled by the slide. Okay. So watch the slide and watch the blowback and the distance traveled. Double tap. A double tap. Okay. The blowback is about is stronger. Whereas this short stroke gun. Let's watch the blowback. Okay. You should have noticed it's uh, more stable and faster, uh, therefore with uh, the stability is improved and so when you're locating your target you'll be able to more quickly follow with the second shot because it can re-aim. Uh, it will also allow you to double tap faster because it's uh, just more stable and it's easier to aim as well. So how do we short stroke? So first, what do we need to do this? We need buffers. These buffers come in a pack and usually come in a few. And you can, depending on what your preference is, you can use different numbers of them. Alternatively, you can buy a spring like this as a buffer, but you can't adjust the length. You can't reduce the length. These buffers here are made of Teflon. They 
don't absorb shock. So when the slide hits it, there will be a there will be that kick that some people uh, prefer. These uh, O-rings or rubber rings are the cheapest type of buffers that you can use and still um, get that effect of short stroking by using them the same way you do with a buffer. So let's take a look at inside of the, the high kappa and see what the buffers are doing exactly. So when we put the slides together, you will see the stock setting has no buffer, it's got no buffer rings, whereas the other one, the most I could fit in here was five buffers. So um, sometimes people will put one buffer to absorb shock and maybe reduce the wear and tear of the slide. The slide will still lock with one buffer. But if you uh, put two or more buffers, then you will begin to lose the slide locking function. If you Put, if you in short stroking, if you put too many buffers, then it may obstruct the BBs from properly feeding into the chamber. It, so you, so the BBs won't get in the chambers. If you encounter a problem with the BBs feeding into the chamber, then you can consider changing the spring inside the air nozzle to a stiffer spring. Uh, the spring sits about here. So some people have also asked when short stroking like this and the slide doesn't lock, how about like making a cut here so for it to lock then you'll get your locking function back then you'll know if you're out of ammo instead of uh, not knowing. Well, I, I have tried this, um, but if you make the cut here, I feel that the appearance is uh, unacceptable, it's ugly. Uh, so that's number one. Number two reason is um, when the Tokyo Marui magazines and the Pro Win magazines, sometimes what you'll find is that the Pro Win magazines uh, become in unreliable when locking if you do that cut. So even if you cut the slide while using Pro Win magazines, it's not consistent. So we have um, decided not to use the slide locking function. After some time, you will get used to it. Then you'll get a feel for when you are out of ammo or close to it.
watching, leave any comments, questions below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much.